We start with breaking news in Newport News. The mother of the boy police say shot his teacher in January turned herself in today. A grand jury charged 25 year old Deja Taylor with child neglect earlier this week. Police say her six year old son got a hold of her handgun and took it to Rich Neck Elementary School in January. That's when the boy reportedly shot his teacher, Abby's Werner, in her first grade classroom. Anne Sparacco has the latest from Newport News. The mother of the six year old boy who police say shot his first grade teacher officially turned herself in at Newport News City Jail. But Deja Taylor's time behind bars did not last long as a spokeswoman with Sheriff's Office says Taylor posted a $5,000 bond just a few hours later. A grand jury charged Taylor Monday with child neglect and recklessly leaving out a loaded gun, putting her child in danger. However, Taylor's attorney stated from the beginning his client had her legally purchased 9mm handgun secured and locked away. Shortly after the shooting at Richneck Elementary School in January, Newport News Police Chief Steve Drew said Taylor's son somehow got a hold of her gun from inside their home and put it in his book bag before going to school that morning. In a statement through their attorney, the boy's parents said they usually went with him to school, but said they did not the week of the shooting. We visited the address listed on Taylor's court documents to hopefully hear from Taylor herself, but no one answered the door. In addition to Taylor's charges, Newport News Commonwealth's attorney called for a separate special grand jury to investigate if school employees' actions contributed to the shooting. Gwynn says depending on this investigation, more people could face additional charges if the law supports it. And Taylor does not have a court appearance scheduled as of this evening, but stay with 13 News Now as we closely follow this case. In Newport News, I'm Ann Sparaka for 13 News Now. In response to Taylor's indictment, attorneys representing Abby's Werner said this development addressed one of many failures. They added they believe the school division violated state law. Zwerner's attorneys have already filed a $40 million lawsuit against Newport News Public Schools.